guys? Jerry from the Third Grade Duelist here to present yet another fourth rate deck. Two in one week, I know. Crazy. But we're going to be talking about one of my favorite decks. And I've already done a, like two profiles on this deck, but this is another variant. One, probably one of my favorites for this format. And we're going to be talking. I'll start off with the fancy field center that Brandon got me. And the reason we're going to start off with that is because boom, boom, boom. Start off with the fancy new upgraded blue eyes since last time. Thanks to Zach and Joe. And not killing me yet. <laughs> Basic blue eyes. He is the worst monster in the deck technically, but you still got to play three of it because it is a blue eyes deck. Three alternative generic blue eyes. Wouldn't run any less. One dragon spirit of white. And the reason I've opted him in is his back row removal, really. And then if they target him, tag out for a blue eyes. Help dodge stuff. Help get rid of back row. Sky Striker's a thing. Altergeist is a thing. Blah, 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 blah. Off to the little guys. Triple Sage, because generic blue eyes. Running Sage is good. And then people are going to kind of disagree with this next card choice. But two stone. I don't feel like you will ever resolve the three. And plus, the third, I am teching in something else that I'll get here and a couple of other cards. But, like I said, you won't resolve three. You get to the two. If you have to resolve the third, you're probably going to lose anyway. One Stone of Legend. Adding Blue Eyes is good. And the tech card I took the third Ancients out for was Maiden. Because everything's starting to target again. Whether it be I target it with Sage or my opponent target it. Getting a free Blue Eyes is good. And then keeping the glow up bulb because, you know, going first. This I want to go second in this build. So this is a case they make me go first. And a lot of times he gets sighted out anyway. And the reason why we go second, thanks to Alan, because I like this build because I'm like, eh, it's a going first format, so give me more responses going second, is the Mech Knights. So uh, I'm guessing uh, Alan, that Team Sam likes show off, give the idea for this. Yes. It's okay. just... This has more responses going second because it is a going first format. So just helps put more bodies on the board. So we go two purple and two indigo. So purple, once per turn during either player's turn, you can banish one face up McKnight you control until your next standby phase and add, a, add one McKnight other than purple. And the indigo, he just moves himself. So him and, e and e either McKnight makes big plays. And then we play one blue to help search out the others. And Alan was right. You go blue, and they have two cards in column, and they're like, uh, I have to stop that. So I kind of agree with Alan. Thank you for the idea. So do you only play those five mech knights? That's all I play because I felt like anything else is too cloggy. Like, okay. Plus, they're, they're like Alan said, they're lights and level eights. So just helps on trade-in. Helps on uh, Photon Sanctuary, which I did opt for. And I'll get to that in a little bit. But I'm playing Triple Ash. Because Ash, got to yep. have it. And then one Valor because you can search it. And then stopping opponent's effects is pretty much awesome right now. Agreed. That's it for the monsters. We go for the spells. Triple Melody, Generic Blue Eyes, can't argue with it. Triple Return, still Generic Blue Eyes, I know. Can't really argue with all these ratios, but Triple Trade In. Good card. Good. They're good cards. You have to have them at three because it just makes consistency. Photon Sanctuary. Now, a couple reasons I did opt for this card because I, I saw Alan's profile. I'm like, eh, maybe it's not that good. And then I tested it a couple times. I'm like, it's all right. So he's actually, one thing Alan didn't do is an extra deck monster. It helps him out. And then he helps, uh, he's a free star boy. Helps tribute. I played True Draco once. Got him. Uh, tribute summon blue eyes so n then they couldn't target me and then uh regular blue eyes you have a hard time sighting so that's just more side room also so that's r really why i like it one for one getting out little dudes is good i've had to one for one my maiden a couple times which has actually won me games because it's, they're like i have to out this monster to further my play and then they're like, oh no, I forgot, she summons. Dragon Shrine, send in stuff. Foolish, send in stuff when you need to. Reborn, because Reborn. 
Game charge. Game charge, yep. Game charge. Now, Allen is right. He's like one of the best Blue Eyes players out there I know, or I guess I don't know. I've never met him. But I've seen his videos. He's good. If you can resolve this card in Blue Eyes, you're setting up a big board, and your opponent probably probably is going to have a hard time outing you. I've I've met Alan before. He's a really chill dude. Yeah, well, I hear that all the time. I wouldn't know. I didn't go to that regional you went to, but off to the extra deck now. Two spirit. I feel like three is too much. One's not enough. One is her eyes. Cut tag out target. Help bring back blue eyes or dragon spirit if need be. Start a spark. He's part of the bold package bold package and then calamities because everyone loves calamities even if he is part of the bold package you still think calamities is pretty relevant in today's meta yes and no i am playing i like going second in this variant so like they see the mech knights are going to make me go first so you get him out you stop a bunch of stuff but like if you're playing sky strikers it's not going to hurt as bad they're still not going to get their kagari recycle or anything but Yes and no. So, Making that against uh, Danger FTK is pretty good going yes, first. Yes, because they just can't do anything. You just call Dark on them, shuts them down completely. Now, remember on him, though, because me and Brandon got into an argument on this a while back, you have to call the card in hand. So, like, Danger FTK, you call Dark, they cannot activate it. They, if you call Light, they can still activate their Dark effects in hand. So they will still get all their search in and all that. Harbinger, because stopping... Spells for Sky Strikers is good. And what Alan didn't play, what I really like, is number 90, Galaxy Eyes, Photon Lord. So why do you like playing this? So first off, during uh, either player's turn, or not during either player's turn, during my opponent's turn, I can take one Photon or Galaxy card from my deck and either add it to my hand or add it to him as XYZ material. So you take Photon Sanctuary. When he has a Photon card, he cannot be destroyed by card effects which is good. And then, once per turn during either player's turn, when an opponent's monster activates its effect, you can detach one card, negate it, and if it's a galaxy card, which I don't play any, destroy that target also. Okay, so he searches that Photon Sanctuary. So, well, he equips it. He either adds it to my hand or equips it. I usually just equip it, because you can get up to four negates with him doing that. The two for the detach, or the two to make him, and then the two Photon Sanctuaries. And I played a, a really heavy synchro heavy deck, and they just go zombies. They went Yuna zombie. I go boom, and then next turn they made a needle fiber. I go boom, shut them down in a heartbeat. Then we go galaxy eyes package. We go cipher, cipher blade, and dark matter. I like these cards because he's a big monster. He's a uh, pop, he's a destruction, and he's a mind, or snatch deal, which can make or break certain games. Going against the Sky Striker match, or not Sky Striker, Thunder Dragons, you're just going to take whatever you need and link out of it. Speaking of, we play the one Twin Burst still, because if you get him out, you attack the Thunder Dragons, they're going to protect themselves, and then you're just going to banish it at the end of the damage step. So, just outs that monster completely. Play one happy star, because they're all lights, you got to. One land whatever, he's one of the, I can't pronounce his name, generic link two that points down. Gotta love it. You make it off the uh, Photon Sanctuary. Make it off Photon Sanctuary if need be. Just generic link two that points down. Link Karibo, in case uh, Sage ever gets Valored or Ashed, because that sucks hard. <laughs> yeah, it does. And then... The round off, we got two tokens, which I thought I'd throw them in there for the yellows. Then going for the side, we got triple kaiju, because kaijuing over problematic cards is always good. Now, I will opt for him out for either a second one of him or a gamma seal, just because they're level 8s, and I can trade in them if I have to. So, eventually he'll be a level 8 kaiju, but for now, I'll deal with that. Double Chalice, I could opt for the third, but I'm kind of iffy. I have one card I could take out for it, but I kind of like it just because it's funny. And Thunder Dragons are big, getting or really big, I can't say getting big, 
So just out them, attack, keep going with your stuff. Called by the Grave, going first against the FTK. You hit the Grapha, boom, they're done. They can't keep killing you. Twin Twister for Alter Guys and Sky Striker. The Regeki, which could come out, like I said, that's the one card. But it is funny to go Chalice, if I stop throwing my stuff, Chalice, the Cerberus, and then Regeki. That's the extra link board. And then for going first card, or I guess other the traps that I play that help go first. Mistake, because a lot of things search right now. Almost everything searches, which Colossus, basically. <laughs> and then triple reboot for Altergeist, because I still have a hard matchup against them. So that's really it. Hope okay. you guys like it. I've worked hard on it. Gotta thank everybody, like Joe, Zach, Brandon, for helping me th with this. The... Alternate artwork, blue eyes, like, subscribe, comment, let us know.